stuck a VTI day. And this is infinity. So, we're up in the clouds. An epic view of the base from here. The new extension. I'll show you everything soon. And this is my dragon's eye. Once I've made the Draconic Evolution storage for power, it's going to sit straight in the centre of there. I'm quite happy with the build, I'm quite happy with the way. Phoenix done the outside for me. And I've decorated. So, let's have a quick mooch around from here. Nice aerial view. Something we haven't seen as of yet. But it won't be long before we're flying. So the base is coming on and coming on drastically. It won't be long now before it's finished. Well, the first part's finished at least. If you look over the back side, I've started preparing for the next section. Eventually all of that will come down and behind the house there, a lot of that's come down. We'll go and have a quick look. So yeah, it's glass above lava. The lava's running in from the edge. I think it gives it a good effect from up in the air. Oh, them wolves. Well, another thing I've built is dry here. Now this thing is epic. I caught King Slime in a Pokeball. Let me take that, I need a new hammer. So yep, yeah, I caught a King Slime in a Pokeball. And I built this room for it. So in the back there we've got slime liquid. Which fills that up, which produces normal slimes. And in the floor, we've got an auto spawner. Which when fully charged produces the King Slime. I've got, I will go around the other side, it's easier. I love these doors. There's a witch floating around. So we've got a chunk loader on the go here as well. We've got an autonomous activator inside. We're using King Slime weapons. And we've also got a grinder. Of which the autonomous activator using weapons provides us XP. So we've got a vacuum hopper going into them tanks. And then because this shoots the things out the back, we've got a second vacuum hopper going into the chest. So a lot of the works is underground here. I followed through because Phoenix has got his little hole down here. So we followed that to the house. Next up, I told you I've been very busy. We have the new downstairs. It's going to be part of the laboratory. And down here is going to be the other part. With a third part positioned underneath there. So it's coming on. I've put a lot of hours over the last couple of days onto builds. But... As you must know by now, I quite enjoy these builds. So it's becoming a bit of a mission now to get around the place. Yeah, I hadn't got time. So let's go into the house. As usual, there's been a lot going on. If you've seen Phoenix video, You'll see the shenanigans we got up to, trying to put a big reactor up. Anything that could go wrong, did go wrong. It was just doomed from the start. But then... It got it working, and it's working well. In between episodes, me and Phoenix put a lot of hours in together. We've got Tesseracts now. And we've got an Ender Quarry. We've got it set up in the... The Forbidden Forest, I called it Forbidden again. The Twilight Forest, one day I'll get that name right. 
but we put it above a dwarven hill and this is the loot we're coming out with so we're not doing bad at all plus if you walk all the way around we've got java barrels collecting everything they're just overflow for when they're cobblestone so i was on earlier today and i had to upgrade two barrels just in case because this thing pumps out cobblestone apart from what you see around here in the entrance to the building we're just in there's loads i've got barrels stacked so he's definitely come on there's been a lot of work gone into this last few days but i've still got more to show you thought it was all over nope not quite so yeah as you notice i've done the landscape a little bit more I made some mutandis and we started to make some of the witchery items. I think I may be hitting witchery some point soon. I've just got to work out where I'm going to put it. So yes, this idea, I seen it on a video from Relic Gaming every week and it's just an idea and a half. Never ever thought of this, put spike like metal railings onto a garage door it just looks epic so sorry relic but i had to use your idea so the first floor is mine then the second floor is phoenix phoenix hasn't seen this as of yet because this has gone up today while he's been off so this is my house where you ask straight into the hot plate straight through so up to now I've just got my bed in here but what we're going to do with this room I think we're going to go into depth detail this is Phoenix room there's not a lot in it I haven't even given windows it's like his prison cell but no I left it open plan so you could put the windows in where it felt like. And I used here pressure plates on the wall with glowstone in. And I think it gives a nice little effect. So let's go to the back of the room. This is my fireplace. I do like to put fireplaces into my builds. Makes them feel more homely. We've got a little water feature. Relaxing. We'll make this into some retreat lounge. I'll see what Phoenix thinks. I love it. They're just great. Carpenter garage doors. Them things are amazing. So yep, we've got another room starting up here. I haven't got a clue what we're gonna put in here. I'm just making all these rooms. Then it's our job to fill them. But I think I've near enough got enough space for everything I want. I wanna get a witching area put up. I wanna get an area, probably in that back room there. I might use that for my blood altar. I'd say it was probably big enough. So I think we're going to get into blood magic. And we're definitely going to get into witchery. Phoenix is dabbling in the thorn craft, so we've got the magic side covered. What else have we got to choose from? wonder what to take part in next. So witchery... I'm going to go down that path very, very soon. Hmm. I also think we're going to have to start going down the path of jetpacks. It's either that or make the angel wings. And I think I'm a little frightened to mess with unstable ingots at the minute. But this bound to be something. I think we might just go for a full factory work up now. We've got the stuff we're going to need. 
if we go to a full factory, get all the machines set up, we can definitely progress. I mean, where do we go from here? I want to fight the Wither soon. That's a definite. The battle with the Wither needs to take place pretty drastic because I need Nether Stars. And once I beat one, I'll be able to fight Mena. So the trick with fighting the Wither I find, even if you're not very good, is to get as many levels as you possibly can. I'm talking 100 plus levels. Now if you've got a spawner, you can rig that up so it just spawns and spawns and spawns and just kill them off for a little slot manually. You'll get the XP. Otherwise, you can set up like I have there. Put an autonomous activator with swords in to one of these setups and watch drying XP straight off it. Every time it kills a King Slime, it gathers his XP. And there you go. Easily 30 levels then. Third levels I haven't even had to work for. So now I'm on level 46, right? The other trick is to get last stand on your armor. If you get last stand one, it gives you a little bit of an extra hit or two. But if you get last stand two, you can take beating after beating, and all it does is take away one of your levels at a time. So especially if you're withered or something like that, that's when you start to like fade away fast. But if you've got last stand, it gives you that boost. I mean, you can carry a bucket of milk on you, yeah, but to be honest, how many people carry buckets of milk in Minecraft? Not an awful lot. So, what should we do next? I'm going to cut away for a minute. I'm going to make a plan, and I'm going to bring you back. So, catch you shortly. So welcome back. We wasn't coming back just here, but I brought you back early because of this. Oh, look at him. The big tree, it's dancing around. The thing savaged me a minute ago. Well, I was chopping down trees over here like a good one. Minding my own business, and he bum rushed me. Absolutely savage me. Wrecked our trees. I don't know what he was doing to the slime tree, but he wrecked them. It just run into them and all the leaves decayed. So I'm not a very happy chap, but at the end of the day, I wanted these gone. I need to find somewhere else for them. This was just temporary anyway. I'm gonna actually leave that tree there because I quite like it. So we're back again. And I didn't want to leave off on a short note. So we're gonna do a quick couple of things before we go so this is a sacrificial orb from blood magic pretty easy to make this is the blood altar and I think for now that's all we need to make so we're gonna to go to our sacrificial room No, nope, it's going to be upstairs. It's got to be in a big room. And I think this is just about big enough. If not, I can always extend. So, for now, we're going to drop our blood altar right there. And if you notice, 
Every time I click my button, I'm dying a little. We're sacrificing ourselves to put blood. And if you do too much, you really do kill yourself. And so, we're going to let that build back up. I'm going to get a bit of stone. I'm going to put this piece of stone in there. While that's doing that, we're just going to move our axe out of the way. And there we have it. We've got a blank slate. Now if you put the blank slate back in there. We're getting no particles. Maybe we haven't got enough blood. Let's just get our energy back up. It's so tricky to keep it off your hotbar, otherwise you have to keep switching out and switching in. Because you need an empty hand to pick it back out. So we're going to have to run back to the house while our energy is picking up. Because we need to get a diamond. We don't want no sneaky creepers coming in behind us. So we're going to quickly run back. God, it's a journey. I think travel anchors are needed. And it rains on us. Once I've determined how big this has got to be. Oh, it's stone, you can forget it. I'm going to have to kill myself over and over now. Eat some food quickly. I know what I have. A bit of quick regeneration. It's all about killing yourself on this one. But we're going to need some serious amount of blood in here. So we've got absorption, so it should be speeding up a little bit faster. It just takes a while. Sorry about the white people. Gosh, it takes a long time to get your life back. We need a beacon or something. So we'll give it a whirl. We're putting our diamond in there and hopefully It doesn't use up all our blood, but it looks like it might be. Come on, hearts.
It's not going quick enough for my liking. Come on. Oh, and it worked. We now have a weak blood orb. Oh, we've got a weak blood orb. So, that's our start. We're putting blood in it. But we need to get our uh, health up a little bit first. Let's quickly bum rush over to the house. It's pretty safe around here nowadays. But you still get the odd straggler, the snake up. Creepers like to lurk through these reeds. So we're going to put that in the blood magic chest. I'm going to put that in the witchery chest. Along with that, that, that. And that. I'm going to say goodbye. So from me to you, take it easy. Look after yourself. And I'll see you all soon.